Hey guys, Brita here, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a first look at Brewmaster, the beer brewing simulator. Now, straight off the bat, I've no idea how to brew beer. Um, all I know is I've watched Moonshiners a lot, and I know what they do, but I still don't understand the whole bloody process, so hopefully it's a good game to play. Hopefully we'll learn something. And now let's go into a new game. We have Brewmaster, Brewmaster mode. So this mode you'll learn to brew, complete jobs and enter competitions and progress through a story that'll make you master. Go with the brewmaster mode. I want to be able to learn. I know free mode. I have no idea what I'm doing. So. Okay. Yeah. Welcome, bro. You're about to take your first steps into the world of home brewing. A world packed with creativity, discovery, and most of all, excellent beer. I don't like beer either. Just thought I should know that. Uh, brewing is an art with endless possibilities, where true mastery can take a lifetime. It is hard, it's wonderfully simple. Anyone can pick up a brew pot, throw a few goods together and create a tasty, watching beer to share with friends and family. I've always wanted to do it. Even though I don't drink beer, I've always wanted to brew. I don't know why. That's exactly what you should do first. Let's get brewing. Beer using the extract brewing method. Alright. Story objectives, tutorial objectives. Retrieve brew pot. Small, for the equipment covered. Uh, the storage screen is where you can retrieve equipment or ingredients that you can own. But you items show depends on which storage area you've opened. For example, the equipment cupboard contains tools and containers. Retrieve an item, click on it, press the retrieve button. To escape, go back, place a brew pot in the sink, remove the lid, and turn on the tap. Um, I want to pour, I want to put it in the sink. All right, well, yeah, take the lid off. That's what I'm doing. Press the wrong button. 21 litres. So with this we can also um, show x-ray. Resolve. Gravity. Original gravity. Contamination. 1% contamination. But we can press T and increase the time. Oh jeez. Going to tap off. Get out of that. Let's get out of that. Tap off. Can I? Or into. Oh, no. Oh, I just did the wrong bloody thing. Pressing the wrong button. Right. Um, let's go a little bit quicker. Put pause. Put on it. Oh, pick it up. Whatever. Put it down. We've got a bit too much. I'm going to go too bloody quick. 21.19. Up, can we go pour into? Ah, there we go. Let me pour way too much. Ah, uh, no, stop pouring. Place it down and the tap on. Wish that would stay. But when we looked away, wish, wish it would still say it was. Get perfect 21 liters, which isn't going to happen. Ah. Oh. Never mind. Alright, so put this on the stove. Um, heat the brew pot. I'm gonna try and... Oh, there we go. Why was I pressing the button? Okay, whilst the water heats, we can add our first ingredient. Retrieve a can of malt extraction from the fridge freezer. Some ingredients need to be stored cold, maintain their freshness. These are found in the fridge freezer, also the ingredients kept in the ingredients cupboard. Light malt or amber malt. We'll go to light malt and we need two kilos. Three oop, kilos. Four ingredient. Look at the container. To e, and then we use our little mouse button, like, rotate it up to start to pour. Two kilos straight in. So the whole thing. Done. Throw that in. Empty, I guess. Bag of staple grain from the ingredients cupboard. Staple grains are kept in the mesh bag so they can be easily added and removed when brewing. They used they use the extract brewing to add flavour, body, and colour to your beer. Vienna crystal or ultra pale crystal? Yeah, we've got ultra pale. Five, four, 500 grams. Yeah, place on. 100 degrees. Gonna take a while. Let's get to 
95 and then slow it down. I don't think it matters if it's just too far past it. Push the gradient hops. There's one bag of glittering hops and one bag of British hops. Let's go there. Watch out. Two pieces of hops that add flavour and bitterness to your beers. The amount of bitterness is determined by the alpha alpha acid content. Higher the AAC, the more bitterness hops will be. The longer the hops are boiled, the more bitterness and flavours are add. But flavours begin to boil off after a time, whilst bitterness continues to climb. This is why bitter, bittering hops exist. These are mainly used for bittering. They are boiled for longer, whilst flavour hops are added near the end of the book. Remove 20 grams of any bittering hops. Mag go Magnus. Ems. And 50 grams of British Ruggle. I'll go with Polar down, we'll go Ruggle. Why not? Let me just... Oop. No, we need to patch both of those. We boil for 10 minutes. So what is the time? 12... 21. 12... 31, we'll take it off. Right. Alright, continue the ball for 10 minutes and remove all bags and turn off the hob. Turn off the hob. Move. Move. I assume all these just go in the bin. Um, wait until the brew pot is at temperature at 21 degrees or lower. It's vital to cool the wort before adding yeast. Use the calendar to advance the time by a day. Alright, advance by one day. Pulled it down. Retrieve a fermentation, fermentation container. Cupboard. Fermentation containers can be found here. Fermentation containers are used in the fermentation stage of brewing when yeast turns sugars into alcohol and CO2. Note the attached airlock. This is that CO2 can escape, preventing unfortunate container explosions. Yes, we do not want that. Um, or port into there. It's left mouse for some things and then it's E for other things and it makes it hard. Put it all straight in. Done. Clean. Put that back in there. And then we'll get some yeast. Retrieve a pack of the yeast. Oop. Attenuation is the yeast. Efficiency, how much of the ferment sugars it will convert into alcohol and CO2, the remainder will become un. The yeast to ferment the wort must be within its optimal temperature. Outside of this, the yeast will start to hibernate or even die. This is why cooling wort or adding yeast is vital. American ale? Go oh, American ale, why not? Doesn't say how much we need. Put all of the yeast into the fermentation container and close the lid. 150 grams or something. Yep. 150. All right. Throw that in. There. Yeah. Pull it on. Do I want to pick that up? Turn it around. I'll use the calendar to wait 15 days. All right. Dance. I don't know what's going to be like once we get past this little story part. The tutorial, if it's going to be really hard, we're going to get bloody confused. Retrieve a bag of corn sugar. Ingredients covered. Yeah, sugar. Uh, at 150 grams. Right, so what do we got? 500 grams, so we need 150. Yeah, that'll do. Put that back. Retrieve a plastic barrel for me. Barrel small and a tube in the equipment cupboard. Conditioning containers can be found here. Conditioning containers are used in the condition stage, conditioning stage of brewing where the beer is carbonated. Alright, so grab that. 
Let's see a bit of the conditioning container. You'll need a tube. You can find tubes in the flow category. Use the tube to transfer liquid between containers. Also be attached to the sink tap. Gravity plays a key role here. The target container must be lower than the source. Yes. Yeah, so. All right. So obviously this one's going to have to go down here somewhere. Get a lid off that. Back that to there. Yeah. Turn the tap on. Uh, place the barrel on the lower surface, then the fermentation container connected tube between fermentation containers tap and the top of the barrel and open the tap. This ain't undissolved. Does that mean it hasn't worked yet? I don't know. Well, let's fast forward. That's really slow, but it, yeah. On close the barrels lid, then wait 20 days. Catch tube. Right. I went on to connect it, I was going to try and clean it. Um, place the lid. Get up on the table. Right, leaving the lid on ensures the CO2 is not lost. This is another slow place. process, use the calendar. Alright, so another 20 days. I don't know what else we're doing between these days. Sleeping, waiting, sleeping, waiting. Right, time for your hard work to pay off. Bring the barrel to the taps in the tasting room and give your beer a try. Right. Uh, e taste beer. Looks pretty good. So, colour. Pale ale, pretty flat for carbonation. Batch small, 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 slightly hazy. Uh, Most affected by protein, dissolved ingredients, sugars, and contamination. It's okay. Multi, clean and crisp, which is nice. Multi and sweet. Woody, earthy, mint, grass, caramel. Plus five more. So it's like a crisp malt. Irish red ale? Don't know what all this stuff means. ABV, alcohol by volume. So 4.5% alcohol. Not very strong, but isn't too bad. Color. Bitterness, body light, okay, so the, the sweet, malty, American Pale Ale. Packaging screen is where you can name your finished beer, choose a style and design from the label bottle. Right? Beer's going to be crisp, sweet, ale, ale, that's what we'll call it. Um, style... Uh, American Parallel, there we go. Bottle, I've only got one bottle. Sucks. Glass, definitely, I don't know what sort of glasses Americans use, something like that. Label maker, label template, there's a heap of templates here, so we can just use any. Oh, one of those two, this one looks pretty good. Confirm, confirm, and a workshop. Looks pretty good. Alright. Check this out. Uh, when you're ready, events to the next season. Where do we. It's beer. I don't want to. I think if we press taste beer, it does it again. Um, right, so that's already there. That's not a real good container that I would like to see. Yeah, but anyway. Don't know if I can. Um, Get a half decent screenshot of this bottle. It's gonna be big. I don't think I can crouch, I can't really get close enough to it. That's terrible.
to have that in the background. I can't set it up there. I don't want another fork. I don't bloody know. I like to get in-game screenshots, so I'll see you guys. Build mode. Oh, no, removed HUD. Let's throw it there. Let's turn it around. And... That'll do. Alright, let's go. Let's go to the next season. Advance. Confirm. Right, pick up the Brewers Quarterly Magazine. Greetings, Brewer. Do you know that the best thing about brewing beer is? Drinking it. Ah, people want to drink it. <laughs> a few folks in the world are more popular than a home brewer. Send you a copy of the Brewers Quarterly, a magazine run by the Community Brew Club, including yours truly. Each issue contains a bounty for home brewers, recipes, articles, a catalogue, and last but not least, jobs. Which brings me back to your popularity. A brewer's services are always in demand, and jobs are a great way to earn an income. Whilst increasing your brewing mastery. Why not give it a go? Sounds good to me. American Pale Ale, American Stout. Two jobs, Dark Matter, Sensational Citrus. Uh, straightforward, straightforward. At the start of each season, you'll find jobs, recipes, and articles in the Brewers Quarterly. These will be automatically added to your journal and Brewpedia, which will subsequently grow as you progress through the game. There'll be two jobs every season, each offering such as beer tokens, mastery, and sometimes special items. You're free to complete one, both, or neither. It's up to you, although this part of the tutorial you'll need to complete at least one. Each job comes with its own set of requirements that you need to met by your beer in order to complete the job. They also have an optional bonus requirement that grants extra rewards if met. Alright, we'll get rid of that to see what it is. A small malt extract, citrus, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, let's go. Job. Now that you have a job in mind, let's pick a recipe. So we need to get a malt ex a dark malt extract. There usually be two new recipes in each issue of the Brewers Quarterly, which are automatically added to your collection of recipes in your journal. Each recipe shows required equipment and ingredients, the steps involved, and the estimated final stats of the beer. When doing a job, you'll want to pin a recipe that matches the job's requirements. For example, if the job requires a certain ingredient, you should find a recipe that contains it. In recipes will appear on the HUD so you can easily follow steps while brewing. Um, American Pale Ale Extract. Change the page? No, I think we just want to... In recipes like track jobs can be changed at any time. You can do this in the recipes section. Brewers Quarterly Journal. Each issue of the Brewers Quarterly also includes a beer related articles which are automatically added to the Brewpedia, great for expanding your brewing knowledge. When you're ready, select the catalogue. This is where you can buy the ingredients needed for your pinned recipe. Um, so where's... I don't know. Brew container, fermentation container. Ultra Pale Ale. Uh, the catalogue is where you can buy brewing equipment. And cosmetics, more items or locks you progress through it. Hidden recipes tab is useful doing all the items required. Right here you can see all the equipment and ingredients required for your currently pink recipe. Um, and any that you don't own can be brought immediately or added to your shopping cart. Purchased all the required ingredients or recipe, return to the workshop this time to get brewing. So we need to buy grains. Now we've already got that. Need to buy both of those. Need to buy that. Ah, there we go. Yeah, so we've got everything. Oh, escape delivery box. Open. Store all. Thank you. All right, brewer beer that fulfills the job's requirements. Oh, op op. So we could probably. I don't know. So we can actually clear it as we go. All right. So we need a. Brew container. Take the lid off. This item, take the lid off. There we go. Put that in. on. 21 litres. Once again, we'll skip a little bit of time. Um, too far. Pick up. Let's go pour into. Blue. Um, bang. 
Let's go next. Add malt extract. Light malt extract to another. Light malt extract two and a half kilos. Light malt extract three three kilos done. We need to add two and a half kilos, obviously. Good. Go back in there. Next. Add steeple grain. In? Oh, it should be in here, shouldn't it? Steeple grain. Ultra pale ale. Nope. So where's our steeple grain? Add steeple grain to brew container. Ultra pale ale. Yeah, where is it? Oh, there it is. Um, how much do we need? 400 grams. That place, let's turn it on, I guess. Next, heat until 100 degrees. Right, so this is going to take a while. Slow, there we go. Alright, let's remove that. Okay, that's done. Add hops to boil for 50 minutes. Hops. We've got Troe. Ah, oh, it's 20 grams on it. Damn, I wish it would show us. Alright, let's throw that on there. Okay, so that's for 50 minutes. We need 50 grams of one Wenatchee. That there. It says 50 minutes, so what's the time now? So at 157. Doesn't say to remove it though. Done. Done. Remove hops from brew. Yeah, there you go. So ten minutes. So we want to go. We're at ten past two. Right, remove both of you. Cool water. Twenty degrees. Let's go. We go one day. Is that enough to? Yeah. Okay. Need to go in here. Um, fermentation container, we're going to need this guy, I don't know, yeah, we're going to need a tube. Um, alright. I can go there, take that off, take that up, pull that in. Need 150 grams of yeast. Should be in here, shouldn't it? Oh, no, it's in the fridge. Come on. So, Cal Ale East. It's only 150. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. 150 mil? 150 grams, same thing. A minute, 20 degrees for 50 days. 15 days, I should say. Uh, sugar, 170 grams. Not yet, obviously. We need to... 15 days. I don't know how I'm going to go trying to do two of these at a time. It's going to be bloody tough. Uh, 170 grams... Get 
too much in there. Let's throw that back in there. Um, back on. One can go there. Open there. There. Transfer it now. We do the sockets. I don't know. Do the undersolves going down? Whereas when we transfer it, it's still undersolved. That's what I don't get. Attach tube. Throw that in there. Um, that up. Clean that. Throw that back. Lid on. Put you there. Twenty-one days. All right. I'm thinking we're going to need to let that dissolve completely. Pretty weird that it wouldn't. Dis want to make sure everything's dissolved it was dissolving as you can see on the screen so I don't know how that's gonna go but All right, taste beer package beer American Pale Ale I taste beer pretty carbonaceous 8.7 liters extremely hazy there we go Yeah, see, it wasn't dissolved enough. That's what I thought. Um, getting crisp, salty and sweet. Off? Does that mean it like tastes off? No. BV, five point nine percent. They wanted five point three bitterness. Ooh, it's too high. Body combination, yeah. American IPA. Might need to do that one again. Why you to brew a certain style of beer to meet that requirement? Be sure to set the style here. Should done packaging your beer. Turn to the job. Yeah, okay. Was it meant to be? It was American Pale Ale. I don't know. Bottle. Can't change bottles yet. Glass. That one this time. Um, submit here. I don't think it was quite good enough. Submit a beer to a job must match requirements. Once a beer is submitted, you're lost. You get to keep a bottle for your display. There are several ways to submit beers to jobs on the jobs page in your journal by interacting with the finished conditioning container and by opening the cellar where you can also view all your past brews. Um, what? Dark malt extract. So we sucked at that. Uh, yeah, that wasn't good. Dark malt extract. Uh, shit beer. <laughs> alright. You have to do that all over again. Dark malt extract. It says light malt extract. Where's our journal? Bring up our journal. Tab. Tutorial. Um, yeah, mate. As you complete just a job, you'll gain beard, tokens, increase your mastery, yeah, new equipment, so access the catalog. So. And in there. By ingredients. The dark malt extract, that's what we need. Uh, 
Uh, did I? I don't know if I brought that. Not yet. Um, no, we did buy it. But yeah, it's delivered. Okay, so that's. There's light malt extract. But if we look at the job. Um, yeah, dark malt. Okay, yeah, so we need to use a dark dark malt. I don't know why it's telling us to use something else. Let's see how, let's do this all over again, it should be a bit quicker this time. Place, lid, tap. Speed on. Uh should probably watch it instead of put other things. That'll do. Uh put that on there. Done. Two and a half kilos, but we want the dark malt this time. Done. Pull that into there. Alright, next. Steeple grain. Ultra pale ale, 400 grams. The other side. Hello. Dreams. And turn that on. Done. 100 degrees, so we need ad hops. Trowy 20 grams. Done. And then. Wenachi, we're not, we're not 50 grams. But that'll be done after, but that's got to boil. Get up to 100 degrees, which is going to take forever. Is that even turned on? Should be bloody turned on. Oh, now it's turned on. That's a lot better. <laughs> Bloody hell. Hundred degrees, then we need to take the other thing out. Yeah. It starts to boil. Much do that. Um move that. Need to add Troy fifty minutes. So nine fifty five. Will do. Um, next, next ten minutes for an Ten oh seven. Right, um, remove that off. Wart. So we need to skip for one day. Freeze. Right, let's go. Fermentation container. Go conditioning. Go one of these guys. There, take the lid off, that can go there, that can go there. This up and pour it into there. On that up, back in there. Um add yeast, so cal owl hundred and fifty grams. Minute 20 degrees for 15 days. Right, throw that in there. Put that back on. 
grab some sugar for our next one. So 15 days. I don't know why it doesn't tell us to let the stuff dissolve. Like I'm going to let the sugars dissolve this time. Um, add the corn sugar. Seventy grams. I can go back in there, put the lid back on. It's still undissolved. So let's just See, now it's not dissolving. All right, let's go. Connect there, there. Turn you on. It's weird that it's not dissolving, like I'm following all the all what we need to do. Um good on twenty one days. Pick you up, clean you. Enough we should have tried to let that dissolve. I don't know why it's not dissolving the sugars. Maybe it'll dissolve. Well, so it wouldn't dissolve now because it was still left in there, but still undissolved. Fingers crossed. American Pale Ale. Need face the beer. That's not a Pale Ale. The body dark ale. Extremely hazy. Again. Was it extremely hazy again? BV's high, a bit of this still too high, I think, isn't it? Ah, uh, actually, can we? Why is it not showing me the thing? I, I, it's a dark hour, really, isn't it? Base confirm. Turn to workshop. But it needs to be. What oh, crap? Roll in the bin. Oh, actually, where do? Oh, it's on the shelf. Yeah, bye. Um. Dark ale. I want to look at the job. So it's telling us that we want small dark malt extract, which is what we used. SRM is at least 20. 161.5. Oh, there you go. We want it to be American Stout. Am I doing the wrong recipe? Probably. Oh, I don't know. Um, he want, What does he want it to be, though? Dark Matter. Doesn't say what it Dark Matter American Stout, I guess. I don't know. You want it to be an American Stout, that's the thing. Yeah, oh yeah, fifty nine percent. So here, American Stout, confirm. Let's go to the Stout American. Glass. 
Uh, let's just go that one. Um, um, submit B. Right, submit beer. There we go. So we also used the wrong bloody recipe. Stay here upon completion. Boards. Did we get a bonus? I don't know if we did. All right. Congratulations on completing your first job and finishing the tutorial. What next? What's up to you? You could try out the second job experiment with other brews, or even decorate your workshop using build mode. Head to the front door to exit the next season and the next stage in the story. Good luck, brewer. Alright, well where did... Oh, that, that's gone actually, yeah, so... Where is our... You said this meant to be like a display, but we can't display it there. We just display it, we can't display it there either. Is that the first one that we did? I can't read what it says. American Pale Ale. Oh, yeah, that was a crap one, wasn't it? That was very terrible. That was the first one we did. Yep, get that. Grab this. Right, break a pile aisle. Throw this in there. Yep. No, need to worry about it. Right here, guys. Well, that's the first look at Brewmaster. Certainly helps if you get the right bloody recipe. That's the first thing. Um, hopefully, you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, as always, smash that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the game if you want to see some more. Make it a regular series. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. Big Bruno, thanks for watching. See you again soon.